The Little Believers Wait, 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 Baba. You mean to tell me there is an angel with us? Here, right this very second? <laughs> there absolutely is, Habibi Abdullah. Right this very second. But what are they doing, Baba? What do angels do all day? Habib Tima, they do whatever Allah commands them to do because they were created to obey Allah and only Him. Each angel has a special job. In fact, there is even an angel who is writing down the wonderful things you both did today, right now. Whoa! That's so... So... What, Abdullah? Baba May, look. There's a little boy over there, on the bench. It looks like he's crying. Assalamu alaikum. You okay, son? Wa alaikum assalam. No, nothing is okay. Wait, aren't you? Yes, yes, it's really me, Abdullah. <clears throat> um, Abdullah, I think he's talking about Baba. Oh, right. Yes, this is our Baba. People call him Imam Umar Suleiman. We call him, well, Baba. Imam Umar Suleiman, is it really you? Yep, that's right. But what is your name, Habibi? And why aren't you happy? I'm Musa. And well, there's nothing to be happy about. Everything that could go wrong went wrong today. What happened, Musa? Well, first, we lost the biggest football match of the season and lost any chance of winning the prize money. I had worked so hard. Oh, I see. You're upset because you didn't win the prize money. Sort of. The prize money was supposed to be donated to charity to help someone in need. But what's the point now? I should just give up. It can't get worse than this. Yeah, you're right. Can't get worse than this, unless, you know, you were stuck in the dark belly of a whale, in the depths of the ocean, at night. Yeah, wait, what? Swallowed by a whale, you know, like Prophet Yunus alayhi salam. What? Swallowed by a whale? Yep, that's right. <laughs> oh, Baba, I think you should tell him the story now. <laughs> Very well then. Musa! Musa! Where were you? We've been looking for you everywhere! I were. Whoa, Musa! Who's your friend? Wait, wait. Oh my word. I can't believe my eyes. Is that. Oh, it is. It's. It's. I can't believe I'm standing here. Right in front of the one, the only, Stephen Curry! Oh, no, actually, I'm not... Just like I imagined. So humble! Now tell me, Mr. Curry Sauce, I mean, Curry Puff Chicken, Curry Guy, Mr. Curry Man. Oh, I could actually do with a good chicken curry right now. Oh, 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 oh. Steph! Steph oh! Steph man! Steph man! Can I call you Steph man? Man, that sounds so cool. Anyway, listen! Tell us about them three point shooters! How? How on earth do you do it? Musa, thank God! We've been looking everywhere for you. Are you okay? Wait, Imam Amar Suleiman? What? Sheikh Omar is here? Where? Sorry, Steph man. I gotta go. Great meeting you and all, but let's be real. This is Imam Omar Suleiman we're talking about. See ya. I gotta go find him and ask him if there's an angel out there that can help me grow some more muscles. Your brother? Um, yeah. Musa, so glad we found you. You guys, look, it's Imam Omar Suleiman. He's just about to tell us the story of Prophet Yunus. Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. Wa alaikum assalam, Zayan and Ilyas. Would you two care to join us? 
Yeah, can't wait. Wonderful. Bismillah. So a long time ago, during the time of Prophet Yunus, there was a town called Nineveh. The people of Nineveh were idol worshippers. Idol worshippers? That means they used to pray to statues and believe that they were their gods. Just like at the time of Prophet Ibrahim, right Baba? That's right. Prophet Yunus had been sent to the people of Nineveh to guide them towards Allah and his teachings. But the people would not listen. After many tries, Prophet Yunus lost hope and left the town. He just left like that? He did, Ilyas. He boarded the ship to go far away from the town. But Allah had other plans for him. Soon, there was a big storm and the people on the ship became worried the ship would sink. So they decided that one person needed to be thrown overboard. They wanted to throw someone into the sea? That's right. To make it fair, the people drew names to choose who would be thrown over. The name that was drawn was Prophet Yunus. But he was a pious man and the people loved him. So they drew for a second time. Again, they drew Prophet Yunus. So they drew a third time. And for the third and last time, guess whose name was drawn? Oh no! Poor Prophet Yunus! That's right. It was Prophet Yunus alayhi salam. But Allah is all merciful. And he always has a plan. Prophet Yunus knew this was a sign from Allah, so he went into the sea. Allah commanded a big whale to swallow Prophet Yunus, and Prophet Yunus stayed in the dark belly of the whale at the bottom of the sea for three days. What did he do there, Baba? Prophet Yunus asked forgiveness for leaving and giving up on delivering the message of Allah to the people of Nineveh. He praised Allah, the one and only God, by reciting the beautiful dua, لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين. What does that mean, Sheikh? There is none worthy of worship besides you. Glorified are you. Surely I am from the wrongdoers. I guess Prophet Yunus did have a worse time than me. But even then, Habibi Musa, he found peace and happiness in the remembrance of Allah. He could have given up and become sad, but he didn't. After three days when the whale was commanded to let him go, Prophet Yunus returned to Nineveh and saw that the people had changed their ways and wanted Prophet Yunus to teach them about Allah. SubhanAllah, that's amazing. So my dear Musa, don't ever lose hope. Don't let sadness come your way. Seek happiness through Allah and don't give up because Allah always has a far greater plan for you. You're right, Shaykh Umar. I can't give up. Muad, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I looked all over and didn't find Imam Umar Suleiman anywhere. You know, Steve Jobs, has anyone ever told you? You look an awful lot like Sheikh Umar. 